As always, the media is giving credit to so-called moderate Republicans in the Senate because they have said that they might maybe disagree with Mitch McConnell a little bit when it comes to the impeachment trial in the Senate. The latest example is Alaska's Republican Senator Lisa Murkowski, who claims that she's very much dismayed at how McConnell is approaching the Senate trial. Take a look. In fairness, when I heard that, I was disturbed. To me, it means that we have to take that step back from being hand in glove with the defense. And so I, I, I heard what uh, Leader McConnell had said. Uh, I happen to think that that has further confused the process. Me to prejudge and say there's nothing there, or on the other hand, he should be impeached yesterday. That's wrong. In my view, that's wrong. I don't know what it is about this particular story. Maybe it's because I'm fed up with the media preemptively giving Republicans credit for something they don't deserve. Like words are words, I don't care about your words, I care about your actions. So it's one thing to be like, I don't know if I agree with the way McConnell is approaching this. And the way they cover it is oh, strong words for McConnell. Oh, Murkowski shows that she's independent and she likes it. No, she's gonna do what McConnell wants her to do. She's gonna do what Trump wants her to do. Can we not give her credit until we see how she actually behaves when the, the Senate trial happens? Yeah, so that's fair. Uh, but, and I actually wanna add something to that, but let me give both sides here. Uh, Cuz both sides do it. Uh, <laughs> no, seriously. No, both sides do do it, but, yeah, but Democrats I'm, actually do cave to Republicans. Yeah, which I'll get to in a second. But no, to be fair to Murkowski, on a couple of important votes, she has actually voted with the Democrats. Now, it is very rare, and and when she's called a moderate throughout all the um, campaign or, or, or the overall coverage uh, of politics, it's not really true. I mean, she votes with Trump an overwhelming percentage of the time. So I don't know if there's a categorization of like non-insane conservative, but she would be in that category, but on some important votes, okay? And remember, she got attacked by Republicans in her primary and then won as an independent. So I mean, there's a there's a lot of like nuance to Lisa Murkowski. Okay, now having said that, the non-nuanced part is what Anna said, which she overwhelmingly votes with Trump and the rest of the Republican Party, and is likely to do in this case. McConnell's going around bragging that he's not going to lose a single Republican senator. Now, another important addition to what Anna is saying is, oftentimes this is theater, mm-hmm. but the media never covers it as theater. They go along with the Kabuki theater. So, what do I mean by that? McConnell will sometimes talk to people like Murkowski and say. I'm going to say for the sake of the Republican Party that I'm going to do everything Trump wants me to do. And that's what McConnell said, and that's why Murkowski is making these comments. He said, we're gonna work hand in glove with the Trump administration. I'm going to, there's gonna be no distance between me and Trump's lawyers. Now, the senators are supposed to be impartial, laugh along with me. But so when he says that, he does it brazenly and on purpose to show strength, to say, I don't care about rules, I don't care about fairness. All of us Republicans are with Trump no matter what. Don't primary us, Republican right wingers. Mm-hmm. And media, we're showing you that there's no chance of acquittal here. So talk about him as if he's already innocent. These are the reasons why he does it. But the last reason is so that he can go tell Murkowski and Snow and Gardner, some of the vulnerable Republicans, hey, you know what? You could speak out against me. Don't vote against me. But speak out against me when I say I'm gonna work 100% with Trump. So that way you will have the appearance of independence and then you'll vote with us and everything will be fine and you'll get credit ahead of time yes. for appearing independent. Yes. So the fact that that conversation does happen on a regular basis, we don't know if it happened in this case, but happens on a regular basis, but the political reporters never cover it is troubling. Yes, yes, so that's that's the reason why this story, which broke yesterday, really struck a nerve with me. Because it happens over and over again. It happened with Jeff Flake, who's no longer in Congress, but you know, he would 
say things in the media that made it appear as though he was an independent thinking Republican who was against Trump. But then when push came to shove, he gave Trump everything he wanted, including voting in favor of, of policies that he claimed were disastrous and he wasn't in favor of. Now, I wanna go to what Jenk was alluding to earlier, which is how the media gets played. Okay, these are the so-called journalists that get paid the big bucks to do their analysis and their reporting, but they get played by these Republicans and their ridiculous theater over and over again. And what I can't stand more than anything is politicians insulting our intelligence and then the media playing along with that. So let's take a look. Despite President Trump's claims that Republicans are united in the impeachment fight, and they largely are, there are a handful of senators who may be making the White House and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell nervous. One Republican senator, Alaska's Lisa Murkowski, is expressing frustration. One of them is Alaska's Republican Senator Lisa Murkowski. Murkowski's remarks are significant. Brianna, it is remarkable, and here's why. A high-profile Republican is not in line with Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. House Republicans have been on the same page. But in an interview Tuesday, Alaska Senator Lisa Murkowski signaled a possible crack. Today, she is now voicing concern about McConnell's vow. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell pledging total coordination with the White House. And that's not sitting well with at least one member of his own party. It's pretty remarkable that she said anything really dinging him for this. Senator Murkowski's remarks are the first sign so far of any dissent. This is an important thing because it shows a little bit of a break here. Why is Senator Murkowski's vote so important? She's disturbed by some of McConnell's comments. There really hasn't been. It has seemed as though the Republican Party is completely unified and this kind of steps away from that. She says she'll have an open mind. Lisa Murkowski is a moderate Republican who doesn't always walk in lockstep with her party. She's seen as one of three swing Republicans. And she embraces her image of independence. She has not always voted with the, the party. She voted present instead of yes on Justice Brett Kavanaugh's confirmation. She's a moderate who very memorably did not vote with the Republicans on Brett Kavanaugh's Supreme Court confirmation, you will recall. Okay, so let's just recap that. Remarkable, significant, voicing concern, not sitting well, important thing. Yeah. I just. Let's just wait. Let's just wait for a second. <laughs> so uh, let, now, let me tell you uh, what percentage of time in Murkowski votes with Trump. Now, look, uh, most of the Republicans are over ninety percent, and <laughs> but uh, so I'm giving you that to be fair and to give you context. But Murkowski votes with Trump seventy four percent of the time. So it, a moderate seems to indicate fifty fifty, right? No, not moderate. Seventy four percent. Yes, most of the other Republicans are worse, but three quarters of the time. She's like rubber stamps Trump, awesome, wonderful, etc. Now, again, one more piece of context to be fair. Uh, some Democrats, um, like Cuellar in Texas, vote with Trump 70% of the time. So <laughs> Murkowski and Cuellar head to head. That's a great reason to vote for Jessica Cisneros, uh, Cuellar's primary opponent who's a Just Democrat. You can look her up on justdemocrats.com. But uh, so, and then they'll call Cuellar a moderate. He's not moderate, he's a massively conservative Democrat. Right. So um, anyway, you get the point. The point is that Murkowski almost always votes with, you know, I just told you the percentage, with Trump. Uh, and so it would be very surprising if she uh, voted to uh, convict him in the Senate. And, she, and, and the last part of the theater, guys, is that sometimes they do do that. And sometimes she does vote against Trump, but only when they know they're already going to win. And not necessarily when they're the deciding vote. Mm -hmm. Murkowski from time to time has a, you know, cast deciding votes, okay? But that is extremely rare. As a, a lot of times McConnell will release uh, senators, Republican senators who are in vulnerable seats to vote against them, but yeah. only if he knows he's already going to win. Exactly, and and look, that's the big difference, I think, between Republicans and Democrats in swing districts or swing states, people who are facing a tough reelection. Look, Democrats always make decisions from a place of deep fear, right? Let's just give Republicans what they want, let's give the Republicans, because I, I, I don't want the Republicans to, to run against me and use this against me in my reelection campaign, whereas Republicans, They'll do the theater, they know how to play the media, they do it perfectly. And then when push comes to shove, they give their party what the party wants.
right? We don't have fighters in the Democratic side. So, in, in yeah. fact, quite the opposite. Just last thing here on the Democratic side, we go to Dick Durbin. He is the number two Democrat in the Senate, and uh, uh, and oftentimes the uh, press paints him as someone who's liberal or progressive, etc. So Dick Durbin, on the other hand, is uh, also criticizing the Democratic presidential contenders for saying that they're uh, likely to vote. Uh, to convict Donald Trump. Why are you attacking your own senators? Like that doesn't make any sense. And he's and it's one thing to say I haven't seen enough evidence to convict him yet. It's another thing to say like it's outrageous to think that you've seen enough evidence to convict him. 55% of the country thinks that they've seen enough evidence to impeach and convict Donald Trump and throw him out of office. And we all have eyes and we all have ears. We saw the evidence. It's not like the House didn't already have their their hearings. It's not like we didn't already see 17 witnesses. So it's not like it's a trial that has no information. A juror walks in out of the blue and is like, "Oh, well, I got to keep an open mind. I have no idea if he did it or not. I didn't see the witnesses yet." In this case, we've all already seen the witnesses. He definitely did it. So when D Durbin goes and turns around and hits Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren for saying they're likely to convict, he's helping the Republicans. See, this is this is why we have asymmetrical uh, situation here in politics in America, where the Republicans are over the top strong and Democrats are over the top or under the bottom weak. I don't know <laughs> what, what phrase you want to use, but yeah. oftentimes pathetically weak. Again, Durbin uh, saying we will not, this is another separate quote, we will not whip this vote. Meaning we will not put pressure on Democrats to convict Trump. Why not? He's the guy who's supposed to whip the vote, who's supposed to actually put pressure on fellow Democrats to vote their way. And Durbin's like, I'm not gonna do that. I mean, I just, we're gonna let them vote their conscience. In other words, we're already telling Manchin and Doug Jones and Kirsten Sinema and anyone else, yeah, sure, vote against us, who cares? It'll actually, and the Republicans are already bragging about it. The Republicans are like, oh yeah, we're gonna get Democrats to vote for this, and it's gonna be a bipartisan acquittal. And Durbin's like, yeah, you should do that, go ahead, I'm encouraging you. He's the number two senator on the Democratic side. And this is why Democrats lose, and they suck at this game. And it's because they, 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 they pretty much throw the game ahead of time.